What's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Walkney here. We're going to talk about Chapter 13, The Oracle of Skylanders Giants, and how you can find everything on this level. Now, i got to be up front with you guys. This is a difficult level to find everything on. There's kind of a trick to it, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to explain in this video. And I actually had to like refer, refer to a couple websites to uh, find all the goodies because it was it was hard. There's a lot of hidden levels. But the gist of things is you can, you can kind of go, I think, four different ways. You can kind of go all the way to the left, like there's two doors. You can go left, 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 left all the way, or right, 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 right. Or you can start right and then go left, left, right, and then vice versa start left and go left right and left right so this isn't this video isn't really in any particular order and if you guys watched my gameplay commentary of this level you saw kind of how i went i think i went all to the left and i was able to get the uh, hat at the end of the level and a few other things so um in this video i just thought well let me just show you everything that you can get and the levels and areas and stuff where you can find things so that it'll make it easier for you to dive in there and take the challenge of the oracle so let's give it a whirl and see what happens so here i am with punch punch pop fizz i got the birthday hat on and then early in the game or if you go to the, so the left there there's this giant spider you fight and then you're going to find one of these winged sapphires definitely want to pick those up when you can so you can get your discounts and then moving along, there's going to be these crazy little, uh, this bridge area where things sort of open up. And uh, there's a little teleporter. And behind the teleporter, we're going to see Eyebrawl's Soul Gem. Now, as it stands now, making this video in January 2013, Eyebrawl is not out from what I can tell in stores. But I can't wait to get my hands on him, Thumpback, Hot Dog this week, and Ninjini. And uh, finish off doing the Skylanders 101 videos. So here's a little section of the game where there's uh, these lasers you got to move around, and there's a treasure chest waiting inside there. Yes, yes, so definitely man. pick that up and get all that money. And uh, here you can see um, there's the I showed the door there, so you can oh, see that when that icon has the hat on there, the bowling pin hat at the uh, end of the level, you can pick that up. I think I have that on my granite crusher. One of my crushers, I think I have that hat on, the bowling pin hat. I thought it looked kind of cool to have some cone like cone shape that on a big giant. So then a little further along, we're going to fight some of these chompies. We're going to, you know, toss some things. There's actually a little character, a girl right there. You sort of touch and you sort of save her, I guess, in this level. And then behind that uh, plant spawning bad guys, there's a little chest, treasure chest there to mash open. All right, I switched over to Flashwing here, one of my favorite Skylanders giants. And uh, there's a couple things in this area here. You drop down to this teleporter, and you're going to see a uh, another gift box with a hat inside. A lot of guys left some comments saying you didn't like the hat I'm using on Flashwing, this sort of um, magic hat. So um, I'm always curious to know what you guys are using in your uh, on your Skylanders. Here's the umbrella hat, speaking of hats. So yeah, let me know in the comments like, when you guys comment on this video what, what hat you're using Make on way. what Skylander. I'm always curious to know. So then a little further along, we're going to get the legendary treasure for Flynn's ship for the Dragon Roof. And I think that's, I think that's if I went to the left everywhere, I think that was all the left. And now I'm sort of gone back and played through the game again, and I think I'm doing all to the right. If memory serves correctly, and here we got the Luckatron Wheel of Wealth. And then there's this area here where you're going to fight some choppies, and aha, we got a story scroll. Whoa, they all just kind of disappeared there. That was interesting. <laughs> I scared them away with flash wings. So here's the uh, Archeans Before Dressers story scroll. Make way. All right, so then we're going to unlock the trial of uh, strength and speed. This is tricky. I um, you definitely want to use a fast Skylander when you're going through this little area here because there's a lot of traps, and uh, there's one area also where you have to actually catch up with a little flying bird or something that's running away, and you gotta catch him to get a key. So. Um, you know, level up those fast Skylanders, you know, uh, Flashwing is fast, Zap, I uh, got hit at the end there, that's kind of no good, <laughs> getting all distracted. I really like the level design of this this little section, that was pretty cool, those little uh, 
things rocking back and forth like that. So then there's a treasure chest over to the right. Pick up the gold, and then uh, a little further along, or in a different area, there's this area where there's like a bunch of different um, locks. And I decided to show this lock being picked because I actually had some hard time with it. So I thought, well, let me just put it on the video and show you guys and uh, how I kind of did it. It's a little, it's a little more of the advanced, advanced locking techniques. But there's a perfect score there. Perfect. So that's where the last chest is. This area was was a little hard for me to find, but maybe you'll find it too with some keys and stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, that was chapter 13, the Oracle level. Very fun, very challenging great times. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment and hit that like button. We'll see you guys next time.